This video is brought to you by Dr. Kristen R. Bromley's Guitar Method Book Series and Online Music Academy. Hi, I'm Dr. Kristen Bromley. Welcome to my online academy. It's so great to have you joining me here in these online lessons. This is lesson 38 in this mini course that's all about flat picking. In this lesson, we're actually going to go over a new strumming pattern. So, haven't done that for a long time. We worked on sort of the basic one that we use all the time. Bass, down, up, alternate. We used that one a lot, learned how to walk bass lines in between the chord changes. In the last three lessons, we worked with some fiddle tunes on the melodic playing. And really, as we move forward, we're mostly going to be working on melodic playing. But in this lesson, we're going to work with this strumming pattern, this new strumming pattern that goes bass, up, down, up. So it adds a little up before we do the down, up. So it's kind of cool. It would be really nice on slower. Uh, songs that are at slower tempos and it can be fun at faster tempos too if you sort of want that uh, rocking <laughs> sort of sound in the strumming. In the next lesson after this one I've actually got another flat picking fun exercise with some melodic fills that will use a strumming pattern. In this lesson we're going to go over this strumming pattern so we'll go ahead and jump right in. So I've got it written up here on the board we're going to go bass, up, down, up, and then you could do bass again if you wanted to, but we know how to do alternating bass notes. Now, if this is the first lesson you're jumping into, check out the first lessons in this mini course that's about flat picking, and you can learn all about that. But we're going to use alternate bass, up, down, up, and I'm not going to go over necessarily which alternate bass to use. You can use any of them. So we'll go ahead and do this with the keys in first position. We have five count them, five keys that happen in first position that we use all the time when playing guitar in this style and even in other styles. And we have two minor keys, so we're going to do all seven of those keys. Down in the description below, there is a link. You can download a free copy of the sheet music. It just has all these keys with chord progression for each key written out, and you can see that there, rather than having me have it up on the board. So go ahead and download that, get that PDF play right along with me. We're going to start with the key of E. So just in getting used to this strumming pattern, let's just use an E chord. We go bass, up, down, up. Let's just do that much a few times. Or maybe just repeat doing it with the bass note. Bass, up, down, up. The reason this is a little bit tricky is we're going to pluck that bass note in a downward direction. But then, it, we usually, when we pluck the bass note, we just stay, stay close. And we've been going bass, down, up. We're going to have to pluck through, come down, so you can do an up, bass, up, down, up, bass. So you have to do that bass note down and then get all the way to the top of the string so you can come up, bass, up, down, up. So you just get kind of used to that, though. Once you got it, once you're feeling pretty good, you can do an alternating bass note. I'm going to alternate between the sixth string and the fifth string. So bass, you just alternate that bass note back and forth. So with this first one, we're in the key of E, we have E, A, and B7. Let's look at doing it with an A chord, bass up, down, up. I'm going, you might remember from the A chord that we can go from a root to the open sixth string as a lower fifth of the chord. We can alternate with that one, or we can alternate with the fifth string up to the next string. You can usually, I would say every time actually, depending on the pitch you might not want to, but you can always alternate between where the root is and the next string. I'm just going to go ahead and go lower, or switch it up, do it one way one time and another way the next time, it doesn't really matter, you can pick. So get comfortable with that A chord, and then B7, we have two options with the B7, we can take where our root note is and go to the higher string, so fifth string to fourth string. You might also remember that we can take that and move our middle finger down, second fret to second fret. You can do that one with the B7. Takes a little getting used to it. I'm going to go ahead and play through this first one in the key of E. It's written with one measure for each chord, but I'm going to do it as if it was written with two measures, so we get twice as long on each chord. Now I'm going to take it kind of slow as we get started, just get comfortable with the strumming pattern. Here we go. We're going to go one, two, red, T. 
and we got E. Next one, we're in the key of A with A, D, and E7. So the A chord we were just doing for D, when we're alternating those bass notes, we again have the open fourth string for the D, and then we can move to the higher third string to alternate with a higher fifth of the chord. Or we can alternate between the open fourth string and the open fifth string to go with the lower fifth. And that's probably the one I'll do, but it doesn't really matter. E7 works the same as E, only it's the E7 chord, so we're going to go ahead and do this one. So we're going to go 1, 2, red, D, and A. Okay, and we'll look at D, the key of D, which is next, third line. So we got D, we already know how to do that with G. We have two options on the alteration. We've got that low sixth string and the fifth string. Or we can alternate with the sixth string and the fourth string. So either way, it doesn't really matter. A7 works the same as A. So let's go ahead and do this one. So you got one, two, red, D, and D. go to the key of G, we've got the, the G chord, I already know how to do that one with C, we've got two options, three really, but two that I, that I think are the best. So we've got the C, you can alternate with your ring finger at the third fret on the fifth string to the lower third fret on the sixth string, you might remember this, so... Or we can alternate between that fifth string and that fourth string. So either one. D7 works the same as D, so we're already set there. So here we go. I want to ready and G. to the key of C. So we already know C, F. We can move the F, we can move the root note of the F chord from our third finger, our third, our ring finger, which is our third finger, on the third fret on the fourth string. We can move it to the third fret of the fifth string. Or we can move from that fourth string to that third string. 
you also play the full six string version, the bar chord version, and alternate between the the uh, the sixth string and the fifth string. So you can do it that way too. Okay, and G7 works the same as G, so we'll go ahead and play this one. So you got one, two, ready, and C. The minor ones. As I was playing those, maybe you wanted to insert those walking bass notes that we've done so much of. And you can with any of these. These chord progression right here works a lot of the different changes that we run into in a song just sort of with an even number of measures for each chord. It's a great exercise just to get the techniques down and it sounds good and it's lots of fun. And you can use these same progressions to practice any of the techniques with any of the chords which is kind of cool. So you can work those. So you can insert the bass note runs in between and you can just do one measure on each or you could do four measures on each. That sort of thing. Whatever works well for you. We haven't done a lot with minor in this mini course. We don't don't run into minor as near as often as major in this style, but I've included the two minor ones and down the road as we work on the melodic stuff, we're going to work with a couple minor songs, which will be fun. So we can still get some minor in there. We did green sleeves two lessons ago, so a little bit of minor here and there, but we're going to do minor starting with E minor. Now with the minors, we can alternate the same way as we do with the majors. So between the sixth string and the fifth string for E minor makes the most sense, the root and the fifth. It's really the only great one to do, so we'll go ahead and do that. A minor works the same as A, so I can take that open A on the fifth string to the open sixth string, so the root and the fifth, or I can take that open A up to where I have my finger on the fourth string, so the fifth string to the fourth string when I'm alternating, and then B7, of course, we've already done. So here we go. One, two, ready, and we got the E. We'll do the A minor. So A minor, we already know D minor. We have that open fourth string. We can alternate with the open fifth string. Or we can take that open fourth string and then alternate with what we have on the third string. So we can go higher too. And E7, we've already done. So we'll go ahead and do this one. We got a one, two, ready, and A minor. Okay, so that's all the way through them. All those keys can be done. Now we did it at a nice sort of introductory tempo. It's important to practice things at lots of different tempos. Things sound different though as we go faster and they feel a little bit different. You gotta relax in the strumming. You gotta keep relaxed. If you tighten up, you can't, can't uh, really play faster. It's just a matter of moving faster, but we have to stay relaxed like we are when we play slow, which is why it's great to learn things at slower tempos. The other thing is sometimes the faster we go, the more tight our strumming pattern and the more it gets in the wrist. So I'm not going to do big movements when I've got to get there quick. So 
So I'm going to go ahead and play through all these. You can play along with me or try to. If not, you've at least got it demonstrated. We'll play through each of these at a faster tempo, so like here. I want to ready and eat. extra little ending there. Okay, so the next one with A. So we got second line. One, two, ready, and A. spit out the names of those. It's harder to say that while we're while we're playing this. Okay, so the third line, the key of D. So you got one, two, ready, and D. Line, the key of G. So you go on to ready and. Okay, so you got the key of C on that fifth line. So you got one, two, ready, and... And let's do the minors, so E minor. So you got one, two, ready, and. So the last one, so you got one, two, ready, and... So that wraps us up for this lesson. Of course, you can practice these with any of the different alternating bass notes you want to. You can insert bass note runs. You can insert these into other songs. But I wanted to introduce this strumming pattern as a different one. So we've mainly done one strumming pattern way back in the first couple lessons. We've done some. We did some with three, four time. But 
introduce this one. In the next lesson, then, we're going to do a flat picking fun little song exercise that I've got written out in the key of G. We're going to use this strumming pattern, but with some more involved alternating bass notes. And it's also going to have these little melodic fills, which is pushing us forward, kind of getting our ears and fingers ready as we move forward in lessons after that and start learning how we actually can improvise or create melodic fills. So lots of fun things to come. We'll see you next time. Take care. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. For more in-depth lessons and to progress through a free guitar course, check out my Guitar 101 series on YouTube and my Guitar Method books, which all come with access to hours of in-depth video lessons. You can find more information about me and my products at kristenbromley.com. Take care.